preparation was strong last week. Felt good. Team felt good. You know, I was excited about the matchup. Um, and then an exciting game. Um, you know, it was it was a hard fought game on on uh, both both uh, parties. Um, you know, credit to them. They're they're a heck of a team and and well coached and and uh, you know you can see you can see why they're uh, as good as they are in the record that they have. Um, so it was it was it was uh, uh, you know great experience to lock horns with a a top flight competitor and uh and gain that that uh experience. Uh moving forward this week, um uh, you know Temple on our half uh is is uh, outstanding. Um you know one of the best you know if not the best team you know will have faced up to this point at least from what it looks like on tape um outside of Navy um Navy and Temple um you know both pose, you know pose different different issues uh, but on tape this is a this is an awesome team um i love uh how they're coached i love how they play um this is a tough rugged team a blue collar uh you know outfit you can see it you can see it in all three phases um coach rule does a fantastic job with these guys and their and the rest of their staff um you know they they play hard um they don't they don't have you know mental errors um they're a fundamentally sound group um you know it's just it, it it's a fun team to watch i enjoy, i enjoy watching them they play the kind of football i like to like to like to watch and like to like to you know be on a team with so um it'll be a great challenge for our for our group Big questions for Coach Diaco, please. Star one on your telephone to join the queue, then the operator will introduce you. And we will take our first question from Mark Narducci with the Philadelphia Inquirer. Uh, hello, Coach. I was wondering uh, uh, if we can get an update on your quarterback situation. Yeah, uh, day to day. Um, can I ask you this? Um, what is of course, go ahead. What is it about Temple's defense that that most impresses you? You know what I'd say it's the effort and intensity that they play with, and and the soundness of of their structure. You know, they just they just they they, they communicate. They don't have missed assignments. Um, it's a fundamentally sound group that plays extremely hard. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We have other questions for Coach Diaco, please. Star one on your telephone, if so. And Coach, while we wait, if uh, if um, you wouldn't mind, ask ask a question of myself. If uh, just a general question about the conference and, and the performance of the conference this season, three top 25 teams, uh, some good non-conference wins, and uh, some real depth from top to bottom. Can you um, you know, talk a little bit about your experience with the conference this season and where you think it's headed? Yeah, I think that's the most impressive thing. You know, the fact that that our teams go out and matched up against. Uh, other other you know uh, teams from what would be you know at least identified as the autonomy five or the power five, and and beat most of them, um, beat won won most of those individual matchup games, um, and then and then to think in the conference now, um, you know we're all we're all kind of really getting after each other. Um, it just shows a, a great depth uh, from top to bottom. Uh, in terms of of uh, of of the group uh, that represents the American Conference, uh, very talented teams, strong teams, tough teams, well coached teams with with uh, talented players. Great, thank you. We can take the next question, please. We'll take our next question from Shannon Green with the Orlando Sentinel. Good morning, Coach. How are you doing? Good, Shannon. And you? I'm doing great. Congratulations on that win. Thank you. Um, when you took over the football program um, a couple of years ago, is, is, is the team about where you thought they would be at at this point, or are they ahead of where you thought they would be at at this point? No, I, I feel good about where we're at. Um, I feel like we're, we're we've, we've taken the appropriate steps, um, hopeful to become bowl eligible in year two, um, and and take that step, have a meaningful November where we're talking about high level competition and doing great things and doing big things which which is part of the the daily conversation and practice energy 
um, and the academic profile of the team uh, and, the, and the character profile of the team um, is all on the rise. So I'm really well pleased with with uh, with the development um, in all in all the areas uh, of the team up to this point, and and feel like it's it's appropriate and and on track. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> you too. We'll take our next question from Mark Narducci. Coach, I'm sorry. I had one other question. I, I Fire to... away. All good. Um, they're obviously playing for, for the division title. You guys are already bowl eligible. Does that give you any more meaning or any more incentive in this game that you can, you know, kind of keep them from that? I don't know. No, I don't think so. And, uh, you know, there's there's a couple games Friday night, uh, at least uh, is, uh, from my understanding, that are going to kind of shape, shape Saturday even a little bit too. So um, to have that be part of the energy is, is kind of, uh, you know, a roll of the dice and and we don't we don't do that anyway you know we like playing football we like being together and we know all you got to do is watch the tape to know who they are and and um the fact of the matter is is that this is a this is a dna visceral uh real outfit and game and and if you try to smoke and mirror uh the energy um you know you're you're going to miss you're going to miss the point of this thing this this is you know, I don't mean from a record standpoint. I mean from a from a from a from a mentality and a body and a, and a style of play. This is two heavyweights going to the center of the ring to exchange haymakers. That's what this game is. It's not you know uh, you know featherweights and lightweights. This is this is two teams that 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 fancy and enjoy rugged football and uh, step into the center of the ring and and swinging at each other. So. Um, the, you know, to think it's about some kind of other thing, I think you're missing the boat. Okay, thanks. Just, just so you know, it, unless um, UCF upsets uh, South Florida, this game will be for the division, no matter what else happens. Yes, I, I know all the complexities, um, but do you, so you don't think that's possible, that Central no. Florida can beat South Florida? No, I don't. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I believe in rivalry games, so. But okay. I played in them. I played in them and, and have been in them, so. Thanks, Coach. Any other questions for Coach Diaco, please? Coach, we thank you for your time, not only today but all year round. We wish you best of luck in, uh, through the regular season and, the, and through the uh, the postseason. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Thank you. Same to you, Coach. That's Coach Bob Diaco from UConn, the Husky.